now, I moved from there fairly young, and my cousins and, and relatives all stayed there, and I ended up growing up being quite a bit different than them. And my cousin Ray, who I've told stories about the hunting story, but uh, it's kind of weird because he, this is how different we are. He's a homophobe. I can't believe I'm not gay. That's how far apart we are on the food chain. Now, I'm not gay, but look at these fucking shoes. <laughs> now, the reason I say that is who knows how things are going to turn out in life. And the reason I say that is from the time I was nine till I was 13, I was raised by my grandmother, right? In a ho-dunk little shit town, and there's nothing to do, right? Well. The year I lived with her that I turned 13, I figured out something really fun to do. And my grandma caught me in the bathroom just to doing it. <laughs> and my grandmother, bless her heart, was a very religious woman. And, she, and I was mortified by this. And she came up to me later and she said, it says in the Bible, young man, that it is better for your seed to fall in the belly of a whore than on the ground. I was like, well, it's tough to argue with that kind of logic. <laughs> you got 50 bucks? <laughs> the first time I ever had sex in my life that somebody else was involved with it, uh, my grandmother caught me in her garage having sex with this girl. And my grandmother said, one of these days you're going to be standing side by side with the Lord, watching your life pass before your eyes, answering for each and every one of your sins. And what are you going to say to him, young man, when this little episode turns up? And I said, I'm going to tell him, watch this, here comes the good part. <laughs> I was throwing some dick in this one, wasn't I? <laughs> That's that 15-year-old back right there. That some bitch could go. Now, now, to fully understand this, you have to understand who my grandmother was. My grandmother and her family moved to the panhandle of Northwest Texas at the turn of the last century in a covered wagon. Very poor, very rural people. And as a child, I would just have to look a little bit sick, and my grandmother would start cramming things in my ass. <laughs> she had an anal thermometer from the 1800s that was that long and that big around, and the only way she had to take my temperature was to shove this huge antique glass rod in my ass. <laughs> and suppositories, gigantic ass pills. I don't know where she got them. They were that fucking big. She would take these gigantic pills and shove them in my butt. And enemas, she would stick a hose in my ass and pump hot water into my bowels. And I hated it at first. Then I was like, I feel dizzy, Grandma. <laughs> was that my fever breaking? <laughs> I got mixed messages as a child. My dad would spank me and then go, now you do me. I'm like, what the fuck kind of... 